Steel cannot be recycled endlessly. My passion for metallurgy and materials engineering once led me to pursue a PhD in the field. In this video, we'll look at how steel recycling works, why steel cannot be recycled endlessly, why steel contributes to 7 to 11 percent of greenhouse gas emissions, and how far fossil free steel production has come. I'm Kata. Welcome to Net Zero Tech. Steel is one of the most versatile and widely used materials in the world, forming the backbone of modern society. But how does steel recycling work, and why does the industry still contribute significantly to global greenhouse gas emissions? Let's dive into the fascinating world of steel recycling, its limitations, and environmental impact. Every year, millions of tons of steel are recycled helping to conserve resources and reduce energy consumption. The first step in the process is the collection of scrap steel from various sources, including old cars, appliances, construction debris, and industrial waste. This scrap is then sorted based on size, type, and grade to ensure the highest quality of recycled steel. Once sorted, the steel is shredded into smaller pieces to facilitate melting. The shredded steel is then melted in a furnace, often an electric arc furnace, which uses electricity to generate the heat required for melting. During the melting process, impurities such as dirt, paint, and other metals are removed through various techniques, including the addition of fluxes that bind to impurities, allowing them to be skimmed off the top. The purified molten steel is then cast into molds. Clear environmental benefits, it can't be recycled endlessly without consequences. Over time, impurities accumulate, compromising the quality and properties of the recycled steel. With each recycling cycle, trace amounts of impurities such as copper and tin are introduced into the steel. These impurities can alter the steel's properties, making it brittle or less ductile in high-performance applications. Where precision is paramount, these small amounts of impurities can lead to failures or decrease performance. To maintain the desired quality, steel often requires dilution with virgin material or additional processing to remove impurities, which can be both energy intensive and costly. This is why some industries still rely on a mix of recycled and new steel. Despite the advantage of recycling, the steel industry remains a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, amounting for 7 to 11 percent of human-made emissions globally. But why is this the case? Steel production is inherently energy intensive. The process is of turning iron ore into steel involves high temperature furnaces, consuming vast amounts of coal and other fossil fuels, which release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In fact, the production of one ton of steel can emit nearly two tons of carbon dioxide. Although electric arc furnaces commonly used in recycling are less polluting than traditional blast furnaces, they still rely on electricity, which may come from fossil fuel-based power plants. As long as fossil fuels dominate our energy mix, the recycling processes have a carbon footprint. The demand for steel continues to grow, driven by urbanization, infrastructure projects, and industrialization, particularly in developing countries. This growth exacerbates emissions as new steel production often relies on traditional carbon-heavy methods. Beyond energy consumption, the chemical reactions involved in steelmaking release carbon dioxide, at least in traditional steelmaking, as a byproduct, further contributing to emissions. The reduction of iron ore is 
key in the process in steel making. It is typically done using carbon, which releases CO2. The steel industry is not standing still in the face of climate change. Innovations and strategies are emerging to mitigate its environmental impact. New technologies aim to enhance impurity removal and improve the quality of recycled steel, reducing the need for virgin material. The shift towards renewable energy sources such as solar and wind, can significantly reduce the carbon footprint of steel production. Some plants are exploring hydrogen-based steel making, which emits water vapor instead of carbon dioxide. This method, known as direct reduction of iron using hydrogen, is gaining traction as a potential game changer in the steel industry. I've done a couple of videos even a couple of years ago. Embracing a circular economy approach where products are designed for longevity and easy recyclability can reduce the overall demand for new steel. Additionally, improving energy efficiency in steel making processes can lower emissions by optimizing every step of the process from mining to final product delivery, emissions can be further reduced. Companies like Hybrid in Sweden are pioneering fossil-free steel production, aiming to replace coal with hydrogen and renewable energy. This innovative approach has the potential to cut steel's carbon footprint significantly. As more companies invest in such technologies, the dream of fossil-free steel is slowly becoming a reality. Steel remains an indispensable part of modern life, yet its environmental challenges cannot be ignored. By advancing steel recycling techniques, adopting cleaner energy, and rethinking consumption patterns, the steel industry can play a crucial role in a more sustainable future. Thank you very much for watching. Many thanks to my Patreon members, Michael, Victor, Sergio, and Bill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into residential, commercial, and industrial approaches to net zero solutions. Be well, and see you next time.